ーーするお方は伝説的なバンドスウェルマップスの中心的人物だった人このバンドの影響力はいまだにすごいんですが彼はロックンロールスタイルの生活を10年間も生き抜きリスボンで殺されかけたこともあるというのにいまだに健在どうしても避けて通れないパブリシティ用の写真撮影に我慢して付き合ったこともありました彼は毎年バーミンガムのラジオで質問に答えているそうです Do you think that there's any way it could be changed? I mean, do you think it's a problem with the record label or the manager of the record label or whatever? <laughs> it's a problem with the British media and、uh, the lack of interest in、uh, what's going on by the British public. Really. But when, when you get a,、um, a radio like we've got in England, there's no hope anyway. No, it's kind of restricted.、Uh, the last time I had a record played on British radio was about 19, 1980 or so. So, I mean, what's the point? Charming experience. Went on with the show, though. Yeah, yeah. I still got up and played the next night, but、um, that's probably because I'm more stupid than.、Uh, <laughs> more stupid than intelligent. I don't look after myself enough. But so what? <laughs> And if you're out there to play a gig, you might as well go on stage. There's no point otherwise. I was just at home one day and the phone rang. I picked it up. There's this guy from New York on the other end saying,、um, We're going to put together this album of Neil Young cover songs, which will be、um, all money going to help kids who've got cerebral palsy, which are what, is what one of Neil Young's kids has got.、Mm. And he wanted、um, all these bands to do cover versions of Neil Young songs. And I, was, I felt really kind of honoured to be asked. I, think it's,、um, I, mean, I really respect Neil Young and I love everything he's done. I love the reasons why he does it, because that's what he wants to do and for no other reason. And、um, I mean, I see similar parallels in my own career, because I just kind of. Change with my moods all the time. And、um, yeah, it was, it was、uh, a kind of privilege to be asked to be on this album. And、um, luckily, the album's really taken off in a big way. And it seems to have it's opened up a kind of whole new audience in a way for Neil Young. All these kids are just into all these garbage bands like Dinosaur Jr. might actually listen to Neil Young for a change instead of l i s t e n to people just rip him off. So, we've been talking about these bands of history, as it were, your Stones and your Neil Young. I mean, another band that's had a huge influence, even today, that goes back a bit, albeit a completely different noise, is your Swell Maps, featuring one、mm -hmm. Nicky Sudden. And I gather that recently a compilation of old Swell Maps material has been issued in America to a surprising response. Yeah, we, we just,、um, we're just turning out mute records, and they, because we wanted to do something with the back catalogue, because we got、mm. all the rights back to it a few years ago. And we suggested to them, do they want to do a double kind of best of, of Swell Maps for America? And they said yes. And it, ca it came out two months ago、uh, to amazing response. It went to,、uh, I mean, the college radio chart, which is kind of like the underground chart, it went straight in at 65, then up to 16, and it should be in the、uh, top 10 next week, Rolling Stone featured charts, things like that. So we're actually getting Rolling Stone at last, and they might review the album. But I mean, it's like all these people are actually. Um, been hearing about this band for so long.、Mm. And it's like, to most people outside, probably outside Europe or outside England even, it's a band that I used to be in. My brother Epic Soundtracks used to be in. j o w h e a d who's now in television personalities, used to be in. And, and then they've heard people like Sonic Youth、uh, mentioning us in interviews、mm. or whoever, whoever. And、um, they've actually now got this chance to go and listen to this thing and they seem to be、um, grabbing their chance gratefully, going out and spending their $20 in American record shops. Yeah, it hardly、um, sounds dated, really. No, I mean, like, all the stuff was recorded ten years ago, and it, it still sounds good to my ears.、Mm. And,、uh, I don't know, maybe people start taking us seriously for change instead of. I don't know, we got.、Um, taking the swell maps seriously? Did they ever do that? Yeah. <laughs> we thought we were good. We knew we were good. I was reading a fanzine the other day, and it's nothing to do with me, despite the, name of the, despite the fact that its name is Far Out and Fishy. But they actually had a page in this called Mad Neil's Rock Page.、Yeah. A picture of Neil Young. 
Mad Neil had been crossed out, and it said Mad Nicky's rock page. And they with followed, the right spelling. With the right spelling. Yeah. And they followed a glowing review of your ignored groove classic, which is all very nice. And it concluded with the following lines, which I've got to throw at you. Like him, love him, buy his records, but for God's sake, don't dress like him. <laughs> Yeah, well, what can, what can I say to that? <laughs> uh, I have a, a kind of, um, yes, I, I think about my dress sense sometimes. I think it could be the fact, uh, due to the fact that I have a colour defi deficiency in greens, browns and reds and I can't tell them apart most of the time. So this mm. could be why my, my clothes don't match. I don't know, I just, I just threw on these clothes last night at about two o'clock in the morning and I haven't, I haven't got out of them since. <laughs> it's, it's true, isn't it, that, that your autobiography is planned to be called Ten Years on Other People's Floors? <laughs> Thank you, Pat. この業界有数の好感の持てる人物ニッキー・サドウィンでした彼のレコードを聞いたことがない人はすぐに手に入るはずだからぜひ聞いてみてくださいね今週もまた中身の詰まった1時間が終わりに近づいてますが来週もまた人生を楽しくするこのトランスミッションをお届けしましょうそれまでにみんな街で作ったウェンチェスター大聖堂の模型を作っておいてね